So welcome to Byte 16. In today's Byte, we're going to create the detective's notepad where the user can create their own notes and edit and delete them and all that stuff. And that will basically be it. Then I guess we will, you know, see if there are any bugs when people play it, but we've, we've basically done so much fun to do. This notepad thing was a lot of fun to do. So this is what we're going to do. Let me show you. So we're going to run the game. This is now the complete game. Do you accept the challenge? Yes. Pick a name, Ruth. Uh, now it's going to show us the matplotlib, and then it'll show the next chart, and then it'll show the next chart. You see it there, and then it goes, okay, the previous investigator left some notes on the notepad for you. This is what we're going to do today, and then we're going to have these notes. It's just to help the user get started. And then it says, okay, now that you've been properly introduced, the loop that we've been creating, and you say, okay, I want to query the table. I want to query the data on this table, on the crime scene table, and then bam, 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 SQL. And then we start to get the clues, and it says, this we will create today, kind of. You will create it first, and I will show you. So would you like to enter a note? And then say, yes, I want to enter a note because I want to save the clues. So two witnesses, the first witness list there. Perfect. So enter. I want to enter a new note. And the next note is going to be, the second is Annabelle. So I'm going to put it there, Annabelle. And then you can see that every time I write something, it returns the notes for me. So I always have them available. So cool. You can actually edit a note. So to edit note, you say, uh, where is the note ID? Seven. What would you like the update to be? So it says, Annabelle leaves, for example. And you see that it changes. Or we could delete it, do a new search, all that stuff. So let's get started. Right, so <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you the basics of creating the notepad functionality in the game. And then we will do like by 15, you will have to put everything together, right? So it, you actually, I mean, you're going to learn more than do, doing it yourself than watching me doing it. Then on the solution, I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing that we're going to do is to import the other action um, module and also the database action module. We need both to be able to generate the queries for the notepad. Uh, the table name for the notepad is going to be detective notepad. You can call it anything you like. And then this is, you know, I want to see what tables are available and the table names. Great. So the first thing that we need to do is to actually create the table. It doesn't exist yet, so let's create it. So you create a table. What you do is as follows. Let me show you. So you go and you do, we don't need that one. So you have create table, the table name is this table name, the detected notepad, and then we're going to have three columns. We're going to have the note ID, we're going to have the notes, the actual note, and then we're going to have the player. Why do we have the player? Because I want them to see only the notes that they write themselves, so then the player should match whatever username the player has, right? So as you can see here, I could only see some of the notes. You can see on the note ID there are more notes, but couldn't see them there. So the note ID will auto increment, so we don't have to worry about that. And just run these and execute it. Just a second. So we're, well, we can run it, we can execute it up there. So we're going to run it first, and then I'm going to check that it was created by just running this again, because this will give us the table's names. And you can see that now we created the detective notepad table. Beautiful. Now, another thing that you saw when we ran the game, it was that here, to get, to help the player get started, we 
the table notes or the detective notepad comes loaded with two clues. The first one is the date, which is actually needed for uh, querying the crime scene report, so they remember it. Say that it's Eskil City, and the other one is, okay, how do I get started? Just go to the crime scene report and query those things, right? So we're going to introduce the notes, so they always appear on top, so they can always see them. So first, let's create the notes. So to create a note, I'm going to show you the query that you need to execute. This is like, the same, you do the same for all the SQL little tables. So insert into the detective notepad, notes and player. The player, so the variables are notes and player. So here's the thing. Note is the note that we want to create. And player is our initial detective that then quit the investigation. So I'm going to call him Sherlock. <laughs> Why not? And then the note that we're going to run, the first one is this one. Today is the 15th of February, and then it says Kill City, blah, blah, blah. And then I want to actually see that it gets executed. So I'm going to use the get table data uh, to see that it works correctly. Enter it, and then we can see that the note ID is created. And the second note that we're going to create is that one. So there you have it. So we have node one and node two. Perfect. Now, as you can see on our game, the user or the player does not see who the player is. Why would they? So we're going to hide that and you'll see how we do that in just a second. Mm, so what we're going to do now is to generate all the notebook actions, the uh, add, edit and delete. And then what you would do is to create, you know, the, the loop um, logic again, and then yeah, put everything together. So we're going to go to our modules and then to the database action. And here we're going to add the actions for the notebook. So I put them like these, just to differentiate them. I created like this notation, and there underneath, I created the, the note by entry, which is the one that will allow the user to add a note. Note here that the player now is not hard coded like we did when we created the Sherlock notes. The player is automatically added when a node is created with the username, the player's name. You can see it there. And when the user is entering a node, the only thing they need to put is the node. Obviously, they don't need to add the username. We already know it. We can just put it into the database. So that's quite cool. Now, edit notepad. If you remember, there are two things that they need to enter. Let's see where it was. So which note ID would you like to edit? Obviously, we need to know what entry they want to edit. So there are going to be two parameters for the edit notepad. One is the actual edit, the text, and the other one is which note ID. And then in the loop, you need to make sure that it asks, like, which note ID would you like to edit, right? So that's for the edit. And then for delete, it's actually quite straightforward. I'm going to show you. So it's just delete ID. So they will say, okay, which note ID would you like to delete? And then you kill it. Now, the last one is going to be uh, the get notepad data. And here's the thing. Uh, so it goes and reads the contents of the notepad. The next thing that it does is it filters the notepad data by the player equal to username. That's why they only see the username, you know, their own notes. And also we want to always show them the Sherlock notes, the two initial notes. So both will be shown. 
And then we want to, you know, pandas always tries to display as little information as possible, I guess, to make it fast. So it will truncate everything, columns, rows, cells. So this says, OK, show me everything, like just just show me everything. Don't, don't truncate nothing. And then here, this little piece, it says show all the columns except the last column, and the last column is the player ID. That's why when we're showing the nodes, they don't see the player ID. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. So this is basically what you need for, let me save it. So this is what you need for the notebook magic to work. So your job is to, we will need to edit the main loop, this one, because here you need to continue the loop, so it asks for the notepad node, and then you will need to edit the main loop. So it, I think it, yeah, so it, the main loop, what you will need is this part. Let me show you uh, that one, right? This is not there, you need to put it. So it needs to show by default the two first nodes, and then you need to create the, um, the loop. So it queries the table, and then it starts to ask for this. What would you like to do now? And then make sure that everything works. So that is your job. I will show you how I did it on Byte, you know, on the solution for Byte 16, and then we will test it. <laughs> See, there are obviously, I am aware there, I haven't, you know, full proved everything. So we will need to figure out what we need to fix in order to make it work. But this is a fully functional game now. So, so cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you on the solution for Byte 16.